Hello Sagittarius and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. And I feel like that's right. You're going to be like the star of the show, okay? What is this all about? You're going to be shining at something this week. Ooh, and this one wants to come off. Yeah, okay, so I'm seeing I'm seeing that something's coming to an end with a between a karmic and a divine or I don't know if it's a divine masculine, but I kind of getting the sense that it is. Um something could actually be publicly exposed here. Okay, this is exposure in public. I feel like there's a masculine who's just been betrayed. Um but there's a karmic who feels betrayed because this masculine um they don't want this karmic anymore. They're just in a lot of regret. This is a masculine who could have just told this karmic how they feel about her. Okay? It kind of feels like that. And when, they, when they're when they done with the conversation, they just kind of like, you know, it's kind of like dropping to your knees, sort of feeling sick over it, feeling sad about it, that kind of thing. They're going through an end with a karmic who's very bitter very upset about this ending um, and I feel like she's lashing out she's she, I, she may be exposing some of this person's secrets this masculine is in a lot of regret you know I feel like they feel sad for hurting yet another person you know yeah they're hurting people this masculine is seeing how their choices are hurting other people they're sorry for this they are sorry for being a player, okay? They're sorry for um, just nonstop hurting others, okay? They're, they're in regret, too, for turning their back on a soulmate connection. I feel like that's you. Yeah, that's you. This person wants to come in and apologize for all the hurt they've caused, okay? Uh, but they don't know how you're going to how you're going to deal with it. They're dealing with a karmic who's lashing out, angry, bitter, upset, um, maybe even doing some fighting with them, maybe wanting to sabotage them, you know, especially in the public eye. Um, they don't know how you're going to deal with it. I feel like um, maybe they just don't know if, because they're witnessing this karmic being very upset. And they're wondering if you're still upset with what they've done. But I see you very grounded, very stable, not in your emotions at all. I feel like you're thinking logically for yourself, making good choices, focused on your money, your business, your work, um, your home, your children, okay? Running the errands, getting stuff done. You're very, very busy, okay? Um, and... Yeah, you're not really focused on this person. They're wondering what you're doing. Are you giving to other people? Okay, are you still angry? What If they come to apologize, how is this going to go? I feel like this person's scared. Okay, they're going through, I don't know, scenarios in your in their head. You know how when you're about to do something important and you picture how it's going to go. I do that all the time. Like I try to picture how it's going to be and it never turns out the way I expect. <coughs> but this person, they don't know what to expect. Um, they may be expecting a tower moment. Okay. They may, they're, they're either expecting that you're going to um, maybe tell them that you're giving your attention to other people they may tell you, t uh, they may think that you're going to tell them that it's over. It could be any of that. They don't know, they seriously don't know what's going to happen. And it's freaking them out a little bit. This could be somebody who likes to be stable. You know, they like to have all their ducks in a row. They don't want to be surprised. This could be, that's a big confirmation. This could be somebody who doesn't like surprises. They like to um, have things planned out and know, like they want to know what to expect. And they don't know what to expect when it comes to you. 
because of what they've done, because of that they chose uh, somebody over you. They don't know what what to expect in your life because they've they've kept you in separation. They've are, you've been in separation, no communication, right? They haven't been a part of your life. They do want to put the work in, though. I feel like this person could even be asking other people about you. Okay. Oh man, you are everything. You could be building something that's become very successful. Um, it, you could have your own business or just be working really hard, saving your money. You're in the nine of pentacles energy right now. This is like everything, okay? Um, and this person knows that you're single and you're ready for a true connection. And this person wants to put in that work. Yeah, I feel like they're emotional. Um and this is the difference between you and this this other person that they chose. This other person, um, this karmic individual, all they do is fight. And you, you've given this person nothing but love. They've had nothing but a battle with this, um, with this Queen of Swords. And they've had nothing but um, unconditional love from you. So you're the one that they want to put the work into now. You're the one that they want to put effort into. And um, they can't stop thinking about you. They, they're going over fond memories in their head. This is also a lot of daydreamy kind of energy with the moon and the six of cups. Daydreaming of how it could be. And this could go one way or another, right? You could accept them back into your life. Or you could like, um, a, you know, they're thinking a fight could pop off, but I don't see you in that kind of energy. I see you in this peaceful, busy, hardworking energy, okay? You know, and I feel like this person, they could have caused a third party, put you in a third party. I feel like you were innocent in all of this. You know, that's another thing. That's another difference between you and the karmic, okay? This karmic, she wants to have her way all the time. And if she doesn't get her way, she's going to either fight with this person, cause some kind of drama, cause some chaos, right? Um, seek revenge, blast their secrets all over social media. See, you didn't do that. You didn't do any of that. It's such a huge difference between you and this other karmic and this karmic individual. You worked on yourself. You accepted this person's actions and choices, and you um, you immediately set to work on you. Okay, um, and you've learned a lot of lessons here. You've passed a lot of tests. You've grown very abundant and stable. This takes a lot of effort, a lot of focus, a lot of time. You've transformed your whole life, okay? And you remained innocent in all of this. You didn't seek any kind of backlash. You didn't seek any kind of revenge. There could have been some things you could have said or done to this person or said something about them or, you know, you could, anybody, you have a choice. You could have done it, but you chose not to. You chose to focus on yourself, you remained innocent in this, and uh, but this karmic hasn't, and I feel like, um, yeah, you're the one that they want to choose now. They're seeing the differences. They're seeing just how wrong their choice was, okay? And now they want to come in and apologize, and they do feel um, some remorse for hurting, like everybody that was involved was hurt in this, okay? Third-party situations are never good. They, everybody ends up hurt. That's what this person is thinking about, how they put you out in the cold, and you're actually the one that they want. They turned, they turned away and put out the innocent person, and they chose somebody who, in the end, gave them nothing but a battle and probably public humiliation. Okay, yeah, see, this is the kind of person who, like I said, they're a planner. They like to, um, they, they feel the need to have 
No surprises, right? They want to know what to expect at all times. You know, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, heavy Virgo energy, okay? You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, maybe, or maybe a Scorpio. You could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, heavy on Virgo. Uh, you could be a Cancer, an Aquarius. You could also be dealing with a, this person could also be a Pisces. And they could have been dealing this karmic. She could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, more Virgo energy here. This person wants to turn things around. They want to come back together. They're realizing they were also a manipulator in the past. They uh, put you in third parties. They treated you like an option. They put you out in the five of pentacles that's out in the cold. You know, and they didn't seem to care. They're thinking about all of this. And they're realizing they need to grow up. They need to commit to something. They want to commit to you now. This person did all of this to you, and now they want to come in and commit. They're about to make you this love offer and give you an apology. I feel like, though, they, they've had you stuck in your head before. Um, they've said some pretty harsh things to you in the past as well, maybe. But now they want to come forward. And here's the thing. You're not going to know if you can trust this person or not. I feel like you're not going to want to be put in another mental prison. You know, I feel like when this, it, during this time of separation and no communication, this person left you behind not knowing what the frick was going on. Okay? So you walked away. You, you took your cup. You're like, oh, I'm just an option. All right. Well, if you don't want my if you don't want my offer, I'm just going to walk away. Yeah, see, you may you may even think that this person has other options still. I feel like they're walking away from um the person they chose over you to come towards you. This person has been going in hermit energy thinking about all of this. And I, I feel like they are in a whole lot of regret. They're crying over spilt milk. They want you back. They miss you. Yeah. Yeah, you're moving on. I feel like you're moving on. You're closing this door. You see this person as being toxic. You know, all they ever showed you was toxicity. All they ever made you feel was heartbreak and betrayal. Okay, abandonment. Um, this could be somebody who's maybe they've had some um, addictions in the past as well. You're closing the door on this. You see this as somebody who's toxic now. Even if this is a twin flame soulmate connection, they're, they've been toxic to you. They, they didn't choose you. They rejected you. So you moved on with your life. And you know your value here. You know that, um, that you deserve better than what this person gave you. Okay? And you may not trust them again. You're making a decision here when it comes to love. And this is like stick a fork in it. It's done. This is a closed door. And this is you ending a cycle and moving on. You could be a Gemini, a Libra, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be dealing with um, a Capricorn. Ooh, I caught that one. Yeah, this person. I kind of get the sense that they're about to take action. They're about to come in and communicate. Uh, they, Yeah, they don't want to just sit on this. They know that you're leaving their life. Some of you could be leaving them behind altogether, like making a physical move. I feel like you're definitely, too, in the public eye here. Maybe they're watching you on social media. I feel like this person's been watching you this whole time. <coughs> yeah, you're, there's literally no comparison between you and this, and this karmic that they chose over you. 
This again, this here is an everything card. You're everything. But this cycle is coming to an end. This person's very emotional. Yep, here they come to talk to you. It's going to be an emotional conversation, and they're about to confess how they feel. They've been hiding how they feel for a long time, and they're feeling kind of over-emotional as they come towards you. They've got, like, their nerves are going crazy. Okay, they're very nervous, a lot of anxiety. Um, I feel like they're sorry, truly sorry for hurting everyone in the situation because of their foolish decisions. Okay, they're truly sorry for how they treated you. This person's kind of like a basket case right now. They are. Um... They're really sort of an emotional wreck. And they're going to be communicating with you, asking you for, for your, your forgiveness, wanting you back, right? Wanting a redo. Yeah, they're going to tell you they don't want to let you go. This person may even start crying, okay? They're going to want to commit. They want their Ten of Pentacles. This is a commitment. This is wanting to be solid for you, right? This is wanting to be in it 100%. They do not want to let you go. They are going to tell you that they feel like a fool. This person's coming in crying. It may make you a little bit emotional, this communication. I, because here's we, we've got the King of Cups to the Queen of Cups. Okay? This is a lot of emotion between you two. Oh, collective, I feel like you have just been so hurt, okay? But watching them cry, see, this is why you're such a sweetheart. Watching them cry is going to make you cry. All right? What else can you show me? Your person could be um, a Virgo, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, see, but here's the thing. You don't want any more players in your life. You're like, I'm done with that player. Look, you played me before, but you're thinking once a player, always a player, right? And you're leaving this person behind. You can't trust them anymore. You know, I feel like you're moving on to calmer waters. You're going to be able to put this in your past. Um, this is this coming in as a confession, closure, justice, vindication. It's going to allow you to put this behind you. Okay, but I don't think you want this person back because they played you in the past and you can't trust them anymore. This person, this is learning, learning a big lesson. I feel like you've taught this person a big lesson collective okay spirit may be urging this person to just go into hermit energy and work on themselves you know yeah see they they want a new beginning but i feel like i feel like this is you in defense mode here comes all of this communication they may show up at your door okay um, I feel like too, this person went, you could tell this person no over and over again, but they're still going to keep trying. They're still going to keep trying collective, you know, they don't want to take no for an answer. They don't want to feel the pain of losing everything. You know, they're losing this, this connection with who they chose over you. They're losing your connection. This person's going to end up alone. And that's what they don't want. They're going to keep trying and trying and trying. And you may say no to them over and over and over and over again. This is somebody who's not going to give up. They've made a decision that's you that they want. And they're not going to give up. Okay? But you don't trust them. You know, you see this person as a player. Yeah, they're not going to give up collective. They want this new beginning. Um, man, this person is very tenacious, okay? <laughs> They're extremely determined. They are literally going to just keep trying over and over and over again until you say yes. 
I, I, each one of these I feel like is you saying no. No, 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 no. This is like all in your future. So get ready, collective. You are, you're about to be chased by this person and they're determined and they're not going to give up. They're not going to take no for an answer, okay? You know? They want this victory. They're very determined, okay? They're very determined to get you back. They want their empress. And as often as you say no, this person's going to keep trying, okay? They're not going to listen to no. Let's see what they, how they feel, okay? How is this person feeling? Um, and I, I get that they're already, you know, really upset. They may be feeling very guilty um, for how they've hurt everybody in this. But this is, they've learned their lesson. They're praying. They're, this is them learning a lesson, right? Um, yeah, look, they're praying for you back. They're feeling very vulnerable as they approach you. Okay, like I said, they're nervous, a lot of anxiety, worried, so many different scenarios in their head. They're trying to remain grounded, stable. Um, yeah, but it's you that they want. There you are in that Empress and the Minor Arcana energy again, Virgo energy. It's you that they want. Um, I feel like this person is a bit intimidated by you. Yeah. See, they're vulnerable because they don't think they're going to have a chance after what they did to you. What they did to you was brutal. This card always sets me off, you guys. They, uh, they humiliated you in public. Um, I feel like this person, they sacrificed you in a third party and put all the blame on you. Everybody in the community was talking about this. It's like you felt like you couldn't go anywhere. You were embarrassed. You were humiliated. You were blamed. People could have dragged your reputation through the mud. And you know what? They realize you were innocent. They know that you were innocent in this. They're like, oh my gosh, is the collective ever going to forgive me? Yeah, how I'm powerless to make up for this. How do I make up for this? That's what this person is thinking to themselves. How am I going to make up for everything that I've done, everything I put the collective through? Oh, my gosh. What was done to you was sick. I'm telling you. Then they know it. They know what they did to you was sick. This is why they're freaked out about coming towards you now. You know, feeling powerless and weak. The things that they put you through... You showed nothing but strength. Like, you know, like I said, you you could have you could have gotten some kind of revenge. You could have retaliated. There's a lot you could have said. Okay, to a lot of people. Okay, but you didn't. The integrity that you have shown, the things that you've had to um just the, the, it, this is terrible. The things you've had to persevere through and tolerate, okay? Saying nothing, being silent, and just working on you. Yeah, this person's desperate to get you back. They can't sit where they are anymore. I feel if they were with, a, they were with this karmic individual, they got bored with that a long time ago. That's coming to an end. But they're desperate to hang on to you. They're desperate for some kind of good plan on how to approach. Yeah, because they can see that you're leaving them behind. You're making plans for your future that don't include this person because they abandoned you and blamed you. So, yeah, they're, um, they know that they're out of time as well because you're already moving on. You're moving away from them or you're just moving on energetically. You're just done with the situation. You're excited and focused on new things. Okay? 
Yeah, they don't know how to come forward. They don't know what to do. It's irritating them. Like I said, this is somebody who they want a plan. They want to have a plan and they want to know what ex what to expect. They don't know what to expect because you are, leave in fact, leaving them behind. Oh, collective. They're irritated with their own thoughts, okay? They just need to take action. If they sit in this energy where they're um, in a mental prison, thinking about all the possible scenarios, man, they don't have that kind of time. They need to come in, they need to come forward like quickly, okay? If they're going to do something, they just need to do it already. Because you're moving on. There's a lot that this person needs to beg for your forgiveness for. Because literally what they did to you was, it was sick. Let's see what your oracles say here. Yeah, see, they orphaned you. They abandoned you. They left you alone. Now this person, they're, now they're on fire for you, okay? You're about to get a message from this person or they're going to see you in person. Message, phone call, text message, something like that. Faded communication, okay? You're also, you're in a time in your life where you're um, getting a lot of blessings rolling in. Small blessings, large blessings, doesn't matter. They're rolling in for you. I, this could also be faded communication coming in as well. But this masculine has a fire lit now. Now they know they need to take some kind of action. This is action. This is a message, a phone call. Okay? This is somebody who's in love with you. A soulmate connection. This person wants to make things better. Okay? They want to make up for this. They want to make things right. They feel really bad for how they've hurt everyone. Okay? Yeah. Right now, I feel like you're manifesting. You're open to receive new things. Okay? You may even be um, seeing this person in your dreams a lot. You know, I've had those dreams where I have, like, full-on conversations with them. That could be something that you're going through right now. I just rang a, that just rang a bell with somebody. <laughs> I felt that one. You're like, oh, my God. Yeah. So um, that's a confirmation for you. Yeah. Co-creating. Yeah, see, you're co-creating with the universe right now. Um, you're focused on new things right now, collective. You're focused on new love, abundance, new opportunities. You've been manifesting for a while and your manifestations are coming through. Um, you're going to start receiving what you've been manifesting. And if you've been thinking about this person from your past, that's also a manifestation. If you've been wondering, are they going to call? Are they going to call? Are they going to come forward? Are they, you know what? You're manifesting this. So your manifestations are coming towards you very quickly right now. And this masculine, they are, in fact, on fire. Um, they're going to be taking action. You're about to get communication from them, um, uh, an apology, um, a confession, maybe closure. I see you ready for new things, okay? But this person from your past, they're coming back around. They want to try um, to make up for this, okay? 